Hey there, I'm Celia, a French freelance illustrator and full-time designer. Welcome in this new video! Today we are talking about the differences between watercolor half pan sets and watercolor inks. Maybe you're already familiar with these two types of watercolors, but for those of you who are not, the difference is quite simple. The usual watercolor that you'll probably already seen is a watercolor set, which is composed by several half pans. They are solid and you need to add water to obtain a liquid watercolor that you can use. And on the other hand, the watercolor inks are colored inks that are already liquid and that you can use right away or mix them with other colors and water. Both techniques have advantages, so the best for you will depend on your habits for painting. The usual watercolor half pan sets come with something between 12 and 48 pounds, but you can buy them per unit to create your own palette. The watercolor inks are available in small bottles and some sets of primary color exist, but you will mostly buying them per unit. The main advantage for me for the watercolor inks is the color saturation. If you're using the ink right away from the bottle, you will obtain the most saturated version of the ink. Then you can add water to deal with the color and to have less intense versions of this color. But I love to work with saturated colors, so it's way easier for me to use watercolor inks because they are really saturated. It's also quite easy to mix the inks to obtain new colors. The downside is that the inks are quite expensive, even for the cheapest product, instead of the watercolor half pan set, where you can have 12 colors for less than 10 euros. For the watercolor inks, the starting price for a single bottle is around 3 euros. Of course, the quantity are completely different, but both can be used for a long period of time before ending. I never finished a pen or a watercolor ink bottle myself. The watercolor half pan set can also be really practical. When you want to paint outside, in a park for example, the watercolor half pan set is most likely to be the best choice because it doesn't take a lot of space, it's easy to carry around with you, and there is a little chance of having accident with the paint dripping everywhere because it's solid. You just need a bit of water with you to activate the paint, but you won't find it too difficult if you have a small bottle of water or a water paint brush with you. The water paint brushes are some brushes with a water tank, so they are really practical to carry them without additional need of water. As I said, I really like to work with watercolor inks because I like the intensity of the colors, but it's not really practical if I want to paint outside. The watercolor half pan set is also a really good start if you want to try out the watercolor technique because it's financially accessible. These both techniques are quite UV sensitive, so it means that if your paintings are receiving a strong lighting, especially sunlight, they will fade away, so it's super important to take care of your paintings. That's it for today! I think that it was a good start to talk about the differences between watercolor half pan sets and watercolor inks. I hope it helped you, don't hesitate to tell me if you have some questions in comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week! Bye!